Uh, I'm feeling great. I, mean, I know I've said it before, but every time you have an incident coming back, trying to get 100%, but with the uh, being out since March and having the surgery in April, um, in my last two and a half, three months of rehab, it's been uh, been a good process, being patient with it. And um, right now, being able to do a full court workout and not have any pain or soreness or tightness, it's uh, very optimistic right now uh, where I'm at and still have five weeks before training camp, so it can only get better. What are you not able to do? I just play five and five right now, uh, just making sure that um, when I'm reacting, making cuts, and especially in the defensive end, that uh, that my ankles are spawning the right way. And I know it, it will, but just right now taking each step, one-on-one to three-on-three to control five-on-five five and then going full go. So um, that's, the, that's the plan right now. Are you going to wait for the start of camp to jump into the full five-on-five, five, or you think you may give it a try before? Uh, if I had to think about it now, I'd probably give it a try before when guys come back before training camp. Um, you know, training camp is a good time to to you know get get your rhythm back and get with the team. But I want to have some some kind of uh, you know play, playing time before I get to that situation. So that's a that's a good plan for me to try to go at least a week or two before. So there's no <coughs> even concern about not starting the season. No, not at all, none at all. Um, the whole point of of having the surgery when I did <coughs> um, and. Being patient with my rehab is so that you know October 31st, um, you know, not having any restrictions or any um, hesitancy of, of going out and playing. So um, that's that's what's going to happen. Can you give us kind yeah. of a rehab timeline from from April to now? What have the steps been? Well, the first three weeks was just immobile, didn't put any weight on it. Um, after that, it was trying to get the swelling um, down for about a week or so, and then. Once you can control the swelling, it's about getting your range of motion um, and your strength back. You know, my calf shrinks up. Uh, I don't have any any kind of power coming out of that ankle, so it's just attacking that, my balance and um, and my, my strength production out of my right ankle. And that's pretty much, uh, it just depends on how intense you go. From the start, it was about you know 30 minutes of just standing on a balance ball um, and, and trying to work on that. Now it's actually doing jumps and landings and um, side to side movements, things like that. So you get pretty intense and you, you, you work on your repetitions uh, the farther into rehab you go. Do you, uh, is it frustrating to not know why uh, the tweaks have happened the last, you know, the last year? Or do you feel like you, or do you have any sense of why they may have happened? Um, I, I mean, I have a, a guess, it's just not giving it enough time to rest early when I first started having the uh, the sprains and you know not giving it a couple of days a week right. sometimes when they're pretty serious sprains and trying to go out or go back and play um, that probably didn't you know didn't bode well for you know longevity when it comes to going through the season and and like I said with rehab you're trying to get it strong and you're trying to get your balance right and during the season you don't have that much time so uh, it might feel good but you know the power and the strength and the balance isn't there to to get you through. Uh, those dynamic movements that you have to do in the court. So that's probably why it started. And then right now my mind says I'm, I'm not really worried about, you know, anything that's happened in the past. We've taken every step um, to get myself in, in the right position for training camp this year. So I'm not going to worry myself over, you know, well, why, I've, you know, I've had to endure some, some tough two years. It's just time to move forward. Can you be 100% confident that this is in the past or because it's been such a rocky it's been so back and forth with it the last couple of years. Do you sort of need a few, a couple months of good health before you can really feel secure? I mean, that'll that'll be good to be in February, January, February, and have played every game and and, and have that confidence and that uh, that expectation that I'm I'm 100. percent But I think <clears throat> you know having the summer and having the approach, like I keep saying, having the approach that we're having taking it step by step by step that once I get into the season, I'm not going to be thinking about my ankle. I mean, you, know, you can't really you know, tell what's going to happen. But, you know, I think going into it, I'll be 100 percent, you know, free and clear of, of any kind of doubts about my ankle. What do you think about the offseason you guys have had, the draft, uh, trade, free agency? They've done a great job of, uh, you know, getting some depth. Uh, top to bottom, our roster looks good. 
Um, we have a lot of veteran guys, some young talent. So, um, you know, with Jarrett, Adam Jarrett, uh, Carl Landry, Harrison, Draymond, Festus, you know, those guys are practice is going to be fun this year. I think we have, you know, some depth at each position to, uh, you know, really challenge each other in, in training camp and come out and, um, you know, on paper we're, we're a playoff team, so we have to figure out how to turn that into wins during the season um, and take advantage of the roster that we've that they've put it on together. Talk about that for a second. You're actually going to have practices this year. How different is that? It's going to be great. Um, that's what you know where good teams get better, uh, especially a new a new group of guys like we have, especially our core guys and um, and our bench. And, you know, trying to learn the roles that each guy's going to have and and challenging each other, competing. So. You know, with the with the full A2 game schedule and, and full training camp, uh, I think we're in good shape, especially for Coach Jackson and staff to, to continue to put in the system that we want to put in and uh, d defensively and offensively. So it'll be a, a huge benefit for us this year. What are, you, what are your thoughts on Don Nelson going into the Hall? Happy for him. I mean, uh, I was a part of history with him uh, with the all-time wins record uh, my rookie year. Um, so just being able to hear his speech and to know his his career has gotten him into the Hall of Fame. It's uh, it's fun to have you know to have been a part of, of a little bit of that history, and uh, I'm just happy for him. I keep in touch with him a little bit, and he's he's excited, so that's uh, it's great news. Are you going? Uh, I don't think so, but I will watch it. What do you remember from that that one the game when you broke the record? You guys were a part of. Um. I think, yeah, I was, we were doing some, some weird dance that we had come up with over the course of the season and he, he finally started doing it and jumping up and down and I mean, it was a weird season that year, but for us to have, you know, that goal of getting him that record, uh, it meant a lot for him and just to see his face and the smiles in the locker room and, uh, we took a team picture in the locker room with him holding a game ball and shower with Powerade and water in the uh, in the locker room. And I look at that picture of my house in Charlotte all the time, and it's, it's uh, great memories. I know it's not your sport, and I'm just wondering, did the topic of Melky ever come up within your organization since yesterday, and what thoughts have crossed your mind? Um, well, there's some you know, guys on our staff that are Giants fans, so we talked about it a little bit. But, I mean, uh, you can't really comment on, you know, some guy having to go through that. It's a tough situation. Um, I know he was having a great year, so just uh, he. I think he admitted it that he he messed up. So you got to commend him on that. But uh, I know the Giants just got to keep moving forward. What kind of style do you think you guys are going to play this year? I don't know. I think we still have some speed. Um, you know, obviously without Monte, it's not as as dynamic with that uh, approach. But um, you know, with with Bogut and D. Lee being able to be such good passing big men on, on offense, and um, you know, with myself, who, uh, Clay and uh, Jarrett, those guys who are coming in, we're gonna have be able to space and we'll work around Bogut and D. Lee in the post, um, and be able to to attack the lanes, and we're gonna be a great shooting team. So um, we don't want to fall in love with that, but we know we we're gonna be able to do that well. We just gotta you know have a balanced attack of getting feeding the post, using our size now that we have it, and. Um, and be able to have threats on the outside. And defensively, we're just going to have to keep working on 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 ball defense and with that Bogut, uh, with the size that we have with Bogut, Festus, Dre, um, anchoring our defense down low. Uh, we got to keep them out of foul trouble, keep them on the floor, uh, but continue to be a great help defense team and, and uh, communicate on, on that end. Fair to say you have a more traditional lineup, even on the second unit than last year? Yeah, I don't think there's a. I guess size-wise, we match up pretty well with any team in the league, um, and uh, it is you, know, you don't have the questions of the small backcourt and that kind of stuff going into the season. So we just got to you know take the roster and work with it. How good can you guys do? I think really good. I mean, uh, if you look at you know the, the talent that we have, uh, guys who have established themselves in the, in the league, and and the balanced uh, the roster that we have, I think you know, like I said, I think we are a playoff team. Um, it's easy to say that you got to go out and play and, and make it happen. But, uh, you know, looking at the West, it's, it's still tough. Some teams have shifted a little bit, but it's still, you know, a tough conference to, to snap at one of those, you know, playoff spots. So um, that's just our, our goal, figure out a way to get in there. Is this the first time 
that you felt like you got a team that could help you win on any given night? Um, I, I guess you could say that. I mean, with plus players, you're going to go out and, and, and think you're going to win every game. But knowing that we have some size, we have shooting, we have um, a better defensive unit, all those things kind of should add up to more wins. So you want to do, do whatever you can, do your part to, to make, that a, make that happen. How's being a father? I love it, man. I love it. It's, uh, Definitely changes a lot of things, uh, different different pace. But um, me and my wife are, you know, definitely happy. It's just a blessing to have her in addition to the family. I'm trying to get some sleep here and there, so um, just enjoying it, man. It's a great timing to be in the summer to be around and and uh, be with the family and uh, get ready for the season. What's seeing your ankles fine? What's your goal uh, this season? What, what are you looking to prove for your, this next year? Um, for me. I have a you know, great opportunity to be a, a vocal leader on the team, um, to you know lead the charge as a point guard. Where, you know, guys will you know hopefully uh, respond to the things I say on the floor when I'm trying to get everybody in the right spots and the right situations. And being uh, the coach on the floor, the extension of Coach Jackson, um, you know, I never go into a season you know with stats or anything on my mind. But uh, I think for us. For me to, to go out there and just play play my game and uh, use my teammates the best best way I can and setting them up, I think uh, it make me look good and make everybody else look good. Have you, have you started that process yet? Of kind of being a leader, have you done anything to communicate with your teammates? Um, we were just just talking to guys and being present. I mean, I haven't been. I didn't go to summer league. I didn't go to. Uh, I was out here before the draft, but um, with the rookies, just. Let them know that you know we're going to be a, a, a tight knit group, um, and we're going to they're going to ask a lot of them uh, coming in to uh, help us get to where we're trying to go. And with Bogut and uh, the other guys that we've we've added to the team, we just got to come in with chemistry, and that's going to be uh, my job is to put all the pieces together. You don't only a guy on the team, right? Say what? You only married guy on the team. Right? Emma. I just just got married, yeah. So I think that's it. Like that's it. Too good, yeah. That's it. Oh, Pop, said, uh, Pop said that you're in the midst of four straight days of working out here. Is that is that correct? Can you kind of give us a sense of uh, how long each of the workouts have gone and what kind of things you've done in those workouts? Or you've done in the first two? So uh, about an hour and a half. Um, obviously do my, my rehab stuff with the athletic training staff, but when I get on the court, about an hour and a half of um, a lot of shots, a lot of moving, uh, cutting and working out of sets, getting jump shots up, and then we've been playing a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, um, working on defensive positioning and sliding your feet and staying low um, with with Kent and yesterday with Charles. So um, that's the part that's most beneficial for me while I'm here, um, working out with some of our guys and pushing each other to, so I can play with some competitive situations that I haven't done since uh, since March. So uh, feels good to to be able to do that and feel feel healthy. <coughs> the who? The Lakers. What they do? Um, yeah, at a, a All Star, it's always been a help. <laughs> but uh, you know, doesn't change the fact that you know you're playing. Yeah, we have a you know great time playing the Lakers every year with the with the fans that we have here and how much you know they they want to beat them. So I think it'll probably add a little fuel to that. But uh, you know you got to go out and play, and so we'll see what happens. It'll be weird to see Nash in the form the form. Yeah, it will be. I mean, every year guys switch you know switch uniforms and it takes a minute to kind of realize you know just take it all in. But it'll be it'll be different seeing uh. Seeing Ash and Dwight and Kobe and Powell and Metal World Peace on the same roster, that's, it's pretty. They're pretty deep, so should be uh, should be fun to go at them and beat them. Your personal goal for the year? What's your personal goal? Make the playoffs, and then whatever personal accolades come from that, somebody's doing something well. So if it's me, if it's whoever, it doesn't really matter as long as we're relevant. Come the third week of April, and not uh, planning beach trips. When were you at your like, most frustrated point with the ankle? 
Mm, probably, I mean, obviously the, the time I did it, March 10th against Dallas, when I had played probably four games straight and made a simple pivot move to uh, change the ball from side to side, land on somebody's foot and twisted it. I mean, the way that I hurt myself was just kind of frustrating. And that was probably the, the point where I finally got a, some momentum in that second half of the season and just stopped just like that. So that was probably the, uh, the toughest time. And then after that, I didn't play again. So just being patient for that first month, trying to get back and then get to the point where we ran out of time. Now, I'll probably play some simulated games uh, before when we have a, um, we call it voluntary mini camp, but where everybody's back in town working out two weeks before, uh, before training camp starts. How much is a contract extension uh, weighing on your mind, if at all? It's not. It's my agent and Bob and um, having a meeting, talking about it, and I'll make a decision when, once all the details are out. But I mean, whether I get an extension or not, I still got to play this year and be healthy. So that's my only my only goal, my only focus. Uh, it would be great to to get that done. I want to be out here in Golden State, um, be a part of the future that we're trying to build here. So it's not like I'm trying to you know skip out or do anything else. If they offer make a great offer, I'm, I'm definitely going to take it. So that's uh, that's where I'm at.